All right, getting organized is one thing Amy Volk with Simplified Living can always help us with, and there's always a different space to talk about today because you've been coming on the show for so long, you right. just kind of wonder, like, when is Amy going to run over, uh, out of projects to talk about? And uh, the answer it's is endless. never. <laughs> <laughs> and today we're talking about getting under the kitchen sink, the bathroom sink. Yeah. It's an area where, you know, sometimes I think space is lost just because it's not used well. Well, and it's this big box. Right. And so then you just start to shove stuff in there. And, and I've opened up uh, spaces under the sink and just gone, how would you ever find anything? And so we want to take it all out today and really pick it apart and, and help you make it Functional. Okay. So is it's that not the this first big abyss. step to empty it out? Number one is you've got to pull everything out, kind of like your junk drawers you were talking about. Get it all out. And then you want to separate it. Again, this is really basic organizing stuff. Separate it into uh, what is under there. So cleaning supplies, uh -huh. makeup, hair stuff, you know, just kind of tease it all out. Then you need to ask yourself, what of all this stuff is not, doesn't really belong under the sink? Because I've uh -huh. seen tools. Oh, look it. That's <laughs> oh. under our sink. Mm. That looks pretty good. But um, if, if you were in a house, that could easily triple the amount of stuff down there. Yeah. So I've seen tools. I've seen radios stuck under there. I mean, just all kinds of stuff. So what does not belong under the sink once you've pulled everything out? You really want to ask yourself that. Then some other questions is, what do I need daily? So, you know, for women, we need our makeup daily. Um, but what do I only yes, use occasionally? Do. Maybe a couple times a month do I get to, especially when it comes to cleaning supplies. And then once you establish that, you can say, okay, I need kind of one of everything, and mm -hmm. then everything else is a backstock or overflow. <coughs> Bless Excuse you. Excuse me. <laughs> Paper towel. I'm glad you have these. Once you've established all of those questions, and those are the questions that are really going to drive, you want to buy containers that double mm -hmm. or maximize your space. So this is a really great container because you could buy several of these and these little drawers slide out. That is good because you can't, you know, you've got to crouch and right. like trying to reach all the way back to the back of the sink is a good way to throw your back out. <laughs> so it it's is. Good that those will pull and the right back out. of the sink is a bit useless. So no man's land. So, so these really help maximize. These are little drawers that you can stack as well. Uh -huh. These are great for things like um, medicines, mm -hmm. and you can clearly label it hair bows, hair clips, small loose items that you never know what to do with. Yeah. Things like that. This little shelf, of course, you see them everywhere, but it does double your space because you can start to stack stuff. Yeah. For things like makeup, I love to use open containers because we could just pull this right out, put our makeup on, throw it all back in there, yeah. and stick it on the little I shelf I mean, and these in there. things comes with, come with a lid, but you don't have to use you it. You don't have to use, use it. it. And then cleaning supplies, so simple. I love this kind of container for cleaning supplies. Put one of everything under the sink, like even here, um, containerize them. Then you know I could pull this out, do my cleaning, put it all back in, and it helps you keep inventory as well. Okay, I'm running low on furniture polish. Have your back stock maybe behind it or in a different area. Yeah. Then use the inside of the doors. This is a little um, closet made system. It mounts on the inside of a door, and it's sort of, if you think of spices, you could put your small things, you could put your hair products on yep. the inside of the cupboard doors. Oh, that's a very good idea. Yeah, so it kind of takes it out of the, um, the bottom of the cupboard. I love the idea of lining, making it pretty inside the cupboard. So use some pretty contact paper. This looks like leather, but you know they have all kinds of fun patterns. Right. Line the bottom, make it pretty in there. Mm -hmm. You're more apt to take care of it when you like looking at it. Well, and that's, you know, and if you've got like new cabinets and stuff, that helps too if you, you know, have a, like a, a rust ring or something like exactly. that. I mean, it's much easier to change out that paper than And these wipe off really, really well. So once you've established all of that, don't overfill it. That's the number one thing that I see people do all the time. They just cram, cram, cram have a back stock, have another place, or say, you know what, if I have all that I need under here, I really need to get rid of the rest of the stuff because yeah. I'm not using it. Yeah. It's not useful. If you can't find it, it's not useful. Even if people just took that first step, right, which was em empty it empty. all out, and just make sure everything that's under there is stuff that you need. Even yeah. if you didn't do another thing, I mean, that will free up exactly some space. Exactly. But really look for containers that double or maximize, especially the height in there, so that you don't lose this um, yeah. volume that you could have stored in there. Just think of all the uh, old light bulbs that Chris Reckley could Look, he could um, just here. line them up in here, <laughs> shelf after shelf, and, and get to them. <laughs> All right, good tips. If you would like to read more, get more tips. If you want to get in touch with Amy, we'll link her information to our website at thehamptonroadshow.com.